Hey, what's up? Ruben, Texas All Water Fishing, and I am getting ready to head out. Now, the water has been a little rough, but today it's calming down, right? So overnight it was really flat, so it's supposed to be really flat today too. And it's supposed to be green, and that is key. Flat, calm winds, green water, that is key for out there fishing on those rock groins and those jetties. So I'm going to head to Galveston. I'm going to head over and hit the seawall, meeting a friend of mine, Eric. We are going to go to the yacht basin and pick up some live shrimp. I heard that they have some really thick shrimp, some real big shrimp. So those big trout out there love that big shrimp. So I'm going to head out, going to meet up with him and fish the rock groins. And if, hoping that there's fish on the seawall, but if there's not any fish on the seawall, then our plan B is to head over the San Luis Pass Bridge and fish Freeport and fish those jetties. But thanks for coming back. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Fingers crossed, wish me luck. Man, you know, the water is supposed to be flat. It is. It's just not that hue, that color that we are looking for. We're looking for a clean, even a stained green. Doesn't necessarily have to be a very clean green, but even a stained green will hold some specks, and we're just not seeing that here. So we're going to move on. So we're going to pack up our gear, and we're going to head to Freeport Jetties. Walking down the jetties, we get reports that there have been some very nice specks being caught this morning down towards the end. So we're going to make our way all the way down the end of the jetty, try to squeeze in in here, meet some new friends, tell them, hey man, we're here to fish with you guys, and hopefully we're able to hook up to some of those specks too. Alright, so we made our way out here to the jetties in Freeport. It is packed, coming out, we got a slip court live shrimp see if we can hook up it's late in the day but actually late in the morning almost noon but we finally got out here let's see what's up watch yourself oh yeah it's slippery Watch the waves for me. Keep it still for a second. Huh? I had it for a second. Damn. Hold on, let me see. Push that top thing back. I got it. There we go. All right. Sorry. Uh, that's all right. You caught it. Is that a cork? Yeah, on the cork. It came on top of water? It came on the cork? Yeah. Get out of here. <laughs> Damn. Don't go. That thing was hungry. Must be. I was getting some hits, dude. I didn't even know it. Look at that. Look. Just ate my shrimp, dude. Yeah, I got that thing right there. Stupid. Probably. I think pinfish. Pinfish. That's what I meant. I meant to, I thought she bit down. I know. I'm tired of it. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, you can do it. On, there it is. Come this way. Where's your net man at? You got a net, buddy? No. Anybody got a net? No grab the net there. Yeah, yeah right, exactly right here, right here. He's it, okay, grab it. Okay. Huh? Yeah, he's gonna pull it. He's not gonna. Oh, 
you get it, just yeah, pull it straight in. Don't, yeah. Uh, don't, don't pick it up. Yeah. Just slide it. it up, slide, slide it, Eric. Yeah. Yeah, run like crazy. Just slide oh, yeah, it. Yeah. Just slide <laughs> it. Please don't kill it if you're not gonna eat it. Please. You guys want it? Can, I don't. I don't. I won't get right to tell you. Who want it? Anybody want it? Nah. Oh. Nah. We. <laughs> Watch that tail right by you. You thought that tail killed that uh, Steve Irvin? Right? Yeah. <laughs> right, right. That tail that kills Steve Irvin, right? Yeah. In the morning, we cut at least twenty. You, get a, you got a video of teeth? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Hey, I just want my hook back. Yeah. Watch that sting, Ray. Watch that stinger, man. Oh, it's popping too. Oh, it's popping. Casting, casting, casting. I finally feel what I want to feel, and I started having issues with my GoPro turning on. This freaking thing won't record. He fell small. There we go. There's one today. What do you think, Garrett? Did he take it? Here. 15? 15. Actually, more than that. 15 and a half. You okay. want it? We'll we'll it. Yeah, over. Like, no, I didn't bring a cooler. I didn't bring nothing. Okay. Right. I just brought a bunch of bait. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right, cool. There you go, got him. Good, 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 bro. You got it, you got it. On a spoon, rattle trap. Rattle trap. You gotta be hooked. It's nine different ways. Yeah. There you go. Hey, little dinky. Little dinky dink. Sand trout. <laughs> Everybody Man, can't. look how big that bait is. Yeah. Look how big that bait is to that fish. He tried That's to smash crazy. that baby. That's a good color though. I yeah. like that color. That is a wrap. We're going to wrap it up. We're going to head back down to Galveston. We're going to grab something quick to eat. Then we're going to head back down to Galveston and see if we can get on those fish at the rock coins. One more shot. One last chance to hook up. All right, so that's a wrap it up. You know, we grinded it out. I think over 12 hours, Eric and I were out there fishing. We headed to the seawall at first and there was just no real action going on there. The water was supposed to be flat and clean. It wasn't clean, it was dirty, and but it was flat. However, after we did leave, after we head over to Freeport Jetties, Eric talked to one of those other guys that were still out there fishing and he said, he had left as well because it had turned chocolate brown so after fishing the jetties with really no luck at all eric and i left the jetties and ended the day back at the seawall again and when we got there we saw one uh i think it was about 26 inch red that was caught and that was it you know that was that was the day we had fun though i love hanging out i love being able to move around and fish like that. I love fishing off the rocks, fishing off the bank. You know, to me, it's kind of like go back to the, to the roots of where this all started with me and my family fishing off the rocks and fishing off the jetties. 
But that being said, you know, thank you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for grinding it out. Um, if you are going to fish the jetties, I suggest you invest and purchase one of those slip corks. I think that's what they're called. They uh, come in very handy because you're able to fish long leads instead of having a very long line that you have to cast out it's shortened that line up like maybe about three foot or four foot that you have to cast instead of like the six or eight foot because you really want to get down there to that mid and lower water column when you are fishing with the cork out there it just seems like it's more successful than, and when you go out there just keep in mind you know you're gonna you're gonna get hung up with people you're gonna get real close to people you don't know you know, it's just, it's all good. You know, everybody's just trying to do the same thing. Everybody's just trying to hook up. Everybody's trying to, everybody's just trying to fish. I know at times it can be annoying, but, you know, just keep a positive mind. And, you know, we have that brotherhood of fishery no matter what culture we come from. So just help you guys out. I know Eric got in there and helped somebody net a fish. I appreciate, I know that guy appreciated Eric. But yeah, just, you know, it is what it is, man. You know, I mean, sometimes you're on the fish, sometimes you're not on the fish. And sometimes just hanging out, meeting new people, and we, that's kind of how the day was for us. But hey, if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. I really appreciate that. That really helps the channel out a lot. Don't forget, you can share this video as well. It doesn't cost you anything. But thanks. Hopefully next time you catch me hooking up. Thanks. <music>